So welcome back to the channel. Well, long-time viewers of this channel will know that I've had a carry permit for quite a few years now. I've renewed it at least once, so I've probably had it close to seven, eight years now. But when I first started carrying, I got a Glock 19 and then realized it was a little big for what I was wanting to carry. So I got this, the Glock 26 Gen 3, the original subcompact. Back when I started carrying this, all these micro nines like the Glock 43, uh, the P365, Sig 938, all those either weren't around or weren't as popular as they are today, or the tiny ones that were around weren't as reliable. Another thing I liked about this one is the ability to have larger backup mags. So let's talk about it a little more. Now this gun here, the great Glock 26, I've put excess big dot sights on it, just like I have on my Glock 43. I was very excited when this came out. When they first announced the Glock 42, everybody thought, oh, Glock's coming out with something different. It's gonna be this gun. And then it came out with the 42 and 380. Glock fanboys were not happy to say the least. So when they finally came out with the 43, I eagerly rushed to the computer and ordered one. And then a few days later I picked it up and life has been good ever since. So this is my summer carry gun. I have added the Terran Tactical base plate on here. So I carry seven rounds and then one in the chamber. And then I've got another one with a plus two. And then of course the plus three. So I can get nine rounds in here with one in the chamber totaling 10. I'm gonna get you almost to what this does. This one, however, I found that in virtually whatever I wear, it will not print. It's not exactly what I would call a go to war gun, combat ish type gun. For that, I want this. It's got a better grip, you can put bigger mags in it. A little, a little more slide to grab hold on there. And my favorite part of the Gen 3 and 4 Glocks, finger grooves. Not everybody would like those, especially Junk Food Zombie here, but Glock has the Gen 5 or Gen 1 and 2 for those that prefer it without the finger grooves. So while editing this video, I realized uh, I may have missed a little bit of information. So this gun here, Glock 26, this one is unloaded. It was introduced in about 1994, 1995, if I'm not mistaken. And because it is essentially just a cut down 17 or 19 from the grip and barrel length, you know, like I've said before, magazines from the bigger guns will work in the smaller gun. Now I have noticed just in being around town, seeing our local police, the regular patrol officers will carry Glock 22, the 40 caliber variant of the Glock 17, and a lot of the detectives, chiefs, sheriffs, uh, upper level people like that that may not necessarily see enough action to warrant carrying a bigger gun on a daily basis, they will carry this size right here. Now this one is a Gen 3, so it does have the dual recoil system, which the smaller 26, 27, uh, those size guns did get the dual recoil that went into all of the Gen 4 guns. So, just another little bit of history and information. Back to the range. For anyone that may not necessarily be a Glock fan, like him, I also brought a good Colt 1911 to the range today too. I do not discriminate, I carry both, and I am trying to get to where I can shoot both well. I can shoot the Glock a little better than I can 1911. Part of that may just have to do with the fact that it's 9mm and you got less recoil, it's a little easier to shoot. And I like the excess big dot sights better. But in the meantime, these do just fine. You can ring that steel all day long. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. I've had this Glock 26 for several years, as have I had the 43. They have served me well and they will continue to serve me well long into the future. 
Junk food zombie trying to do math over here. It's interesting. Math is easy. It's Sounds seeing. like this common core stuff. <laughs> it's the seeing with my aging eyes that's yeah, not so Yeah, you got easy. the grandpa glasses here. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Hey, but not me yet. 43 to need them, so. 43. Almost 44. Yeah, I oh. know. I shouldn't have said anything. We can't let YouTube see this evil rifle. That's not what this video is about. I'll blur it out. We can't have that. Not for the kids. Think of the children.